Do you know what a bequest is? Chances are, if you've done an estate plan, you've come across the word bequest, and hopefully you understand what it means. I'm Andrew Ayers, a lawyer who works with families and business owners to protect their legacies through planning. In the next few minutes, I'm going to discuss one of the most common questions I get, which is, what is a bequest? Now, in law school, we all learn a lot of old Latin words. There's some very strange words that you will never run into in your daily life. But if you try to do an online will, you're probably going to run into some of them. And that online will site may or may not even give you the proper explanation of what those terms mean. Now, bequest is not an old Latin term. It's not opaque. It's not hard to understand. But it is something that you may not have run into in your regular life. And when you see it in your estate plan, you have the question of what is a bequest? So a bequest is a legal term for when you give someone something in your will or your trust. Bequests are normally one of two types. The first one is as a specific bequest. For example, to my son John, I give my 1964 Corvette. Or to my daughter Sally, I give $25,000. A specific bequest is an identifiable thing. It's an, it's an amount of money. It's something we can identify and it's going to a specific person. The second type of bequest is what's called a residuary bequest. And those are the assets that are left in your estate after all the other distributions. There can be a lot of different ways that you end up with residuary bequests. Let's say, for example, you're giving money to a cousin who's no longer alive, or you have some other assets that for some reason could not be distributed the way you intended. Those become part of your residuary estate and they go by your residuary bequests and how they get distributed. Many people that I work with will use residuary bequests for charities and other organizations. Chances are there's little to nothing left in their estate at that point, but they want to, just in case, leave some money to them. And of course, those people, if they're really passionate about the organization, will often use a specific bequest to make sure that a certain amount of property or a certain amount of money goes directly to that charity or that organization. You need to know about these because this is one of the most important parts of your estate plan. You need to know what that specific specific bequest says and who it's going to. When you work with my office, this is part of our promise to you. We make sure that you understand all of the terms in your will and your trust. I don't want you to go into the office and sign a document that you don't understand. If you don't know what a bequest is, raise your hand. Stop for a second. I need to know what this means. In other videos, you'll hear about ademption, another legal uh, word that you probably have not come across, but can be very important for your will. Now, there's going to be two ways for you to approach these bequests. One, you can try to do it yourself. Find some will online for $49.97 or $99.97. You fill out all of their forms, and they're going to mail merge your information into a document that may or may not be what you really need. It's a lot easier not to do this yourself. Don't try to reinvent the wheel. Attorneys and professionals have been working on things like this for years. So instead of going to that website, speak to your financial planner. Speak to your attorney. Create an estate plan. Part of the estate plan will include bequests to make sure that the right people are getting the right things from your estate that you want them to get. If you're ready to get started, go to andrewmayers.com and click the Schedule a Consultation button. And it'll take you directly to my personal calendar and we can have a legal strategy session. A bequest is actually a very simple part of your estate plan, but it's a very important term for you to understand.